Next on DIY, we're going to see, can you really apply glitter to your eyelids using nothing more than lip gloss? Okay, so I'm using a clear lip gloss that I've had for I don't even know how long. Um, um, but I wanted to use clear because I wanted the glitter to be the main statement of this show, and I have a nice soft brush to apply the glitter with. Okay, so first things first, let me get you in a little bit closer so you can actually see my eyelids a little bit better. Okay, so first things first, we're going to be covering our eyelids. And there's those sparkly! I feel like I'm like overly expressive now. Like, I feel like I just have like pink glittery eyebrows. It's just so cool! I love it! So yeah, you can totally use lip gloss to apply glitter to your eyelids! How cool is that? Next on DIY, we're going to be trying out a new hairstyle on Emily here. Okay. braided a little too long on one side because it looks really bad so if you are better at French braiding than me you could probably pull this hairdo off but not me because it just looks like a huge mess so yeah next on DIY we're gonna see if you can swap out your eyeliner for just everyday colored pencils just by sticking them into a cup of hot water. Okay, so they've been in there for a few seconds and I can see the red one's starting to get a little melty. The blue one is also a little melty. And the purple one is melty. So I think we're good to go. But this time I'm gonna go grab a mirror because if there's anything I learned from that glitter I think it's that you need a mirror and not one that confuses the hay out of you like the camera. So I'm gonna go get a little mirror. But it's getting there. So yeah, it looks like you can replace your um, normal everyday um, eyeliner with colored pencils. Um, the only thing is that I would tell you guys is be extremely careful. And um, number two, make sure you keep them in the water long enough. Otherwise, it's just going to be like watercolor consistency and not actually like makeup consistency. So, yeah, you can totally do this. Next up, we are going to be making and trying out a DIY lip scrub. For those of you who are like me and seem to always get really bad chap lips around this time of the year. So, let's start out with our, by making it. It's really easy. All you're gonna need is one tablespoon of sugar.
and half a teaspoon of olive oil. What's the last thing we put olive oil in? Right, that mug um, brownie that we made. I should make that again. That was really good. Okay, I think I got all the oil out of that. Okay, now it's time to add some flavor and color. If you want to do like a rainbow, you'll need to mix up several batches, obviously. Tell me this is empty and that somebody just put the box back in the pantry. I think this is empty. What would what, what we use banana? Okay, apparently we don't have banana extract, so I'm going to have to go find some other extract to add flavor. on some other kind of extract and I know this has got a lot in it so instead of banana we got almond okay so get a couple of drops of this in there okay that's probably more than I needed all right so what color am I gonna mix up for this almonds hmm let's do orange If I can get down the inside of the box. Okay. One, two. Okay. Mmm, these smell so good. One, two. And once you're done exfoliating, you can lick the excess sugar off. I'm just kidding. That's counterproductive because moisture is exactly what makes your lips chapped. But yeah, I have to say that this totally works. It looks so cool. It looks like gems. It's all sparkly and pretty and I love it. And if you have really chapped lips like I do around this time of the year, like just chapped skin in general really, you should mix this up. Because it's fun, and it's colorful, and it smells good. So, yeah. And you don't have to use almond extract or the colors I used. You can obviously use whatever colors and flavors you like. Next time to why we're going to turn these everyday hair ties into fun beaded ones. And I got my beads and some new ones that I got a few days ago. So yeah, I'm going to start off with this white one. And I'm just going to cut it. And put some beads on it. I'm going to start off with these ones that I got a few days ago. If they'll fit onto the hair tie. I think that'll work 
be tall was too small for the hair tie. <coughs> all seems to turn out really nice and cute. Now it's time to test them out. This one's working okay. Now let's test the red and clear one. So I have to say this DIY is a total success, they're really cute, they work well, and they're awesome, so you should make them.